Wakefield. I'm Caroline Stallings, your student body president. Here's your annual discipline video. Wakefield High School A Team, main campus. Malik Bazell, principal. Your assistant principals are Eric Beth Isle, room 300, serving students last names A through EM. Anson Robinson, room 2110, letters LF through RI. Melissa Thomas, room 3236, letters RJ through Z. And Dr. Vivian Wells, room 2302, letters EN through LE. Wakefield High School A Team, Wakefield North. Principal, Malik Bazell. Administrator, Chansey Wolf. Five non-negotiables for students. Class or pass. If you are in the halls, you must have a pass and it must be presented when requested by an adult. Stay or pay. If students are out of place and are approached by any adult, they must remain in the presence of that individual until the issue is resolved. Comply or goodbye. Students are expected to follow the rules while on campus. Failure to comply with reasonable requests may result in OSS. On time or serve time. Students are expected to get to class on time. Failure to comply will result in disciplinary consequences. Truth or consequences. Students are expected to display the highest level of integrity. Cheating, lying, stealing, and falsification will not be tolerated. School climate. A school climate conducive to serious study and respect is essential. Each school administrator has the authority and responsibility to take whatever reasonable and legal action necessary to establish and maintain appropriate student behavior. School administrators may, be re may use reasonable force when necessary to control behavior or remove a person from the scene. Whoa, watch out! The school year's ahead of us! I'm Samantha Deegan, and I'm your Executive Vice President. Let's have a great year, Wakefield. Code of Student Conduct. All students shall comply with the Code of Student Conduct of the Wake County Public School System, state and federal laws, school board policies, and local school rules and regulations governing student behavior and conduct. Serious violations of this code may result in a long-term suspension or expulsion. Specific information on the following can be found under the Code of Student Conduct. All students must adhere to school board policies that address dress code, harassment, sexual harassment, disruption of school, gang or gang-related activities, fighting or physical aggression, wireless communication, weapons, controlled substances, trespassing, integrity, and misconduct on a school bus. All students should be familiar with the Wake County Public Schools Parent and Student Handbook. This handbook is available on the WCPSS website and on Wakefield's homepage. The Code of Student Conduct is reviewed in this handbook. 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016. Oh, hey, what's up, Wakefield? I'm Michael Hartman, your Executive Secretary. Looking forward to a great year with you. Consequences for violating school policy. Verbal warning, student conference, parental contact, parent conference, teacher detention, in-school suspension, Alternative Learning Center, Lunch Detention, Revotion of Lunch and Parking Privileges, Saturday Detention, and Out of School Suspension. Wakefield High School Policy Updates and Disciplinary Consequences. Failure to comply with any administrative directions may result in out of school suspension. Dress Code. Clothing that disrupts the educational environment is not allowed. Students who dress inappropriately will be sent to the attendance office and given three choices. Change into clothes provided by Wakefield High School, call home for a change of clothes to be brought to school, or spend the day in ISS for noncompliance. Uh, hey Wakefield, my name is Greg Walcott and I'm going to be your Executive Communications Director for this upcoming school year. I hope you're for a fun and exciting year, just like I am. Dress code continued. Students must follow these guidelines. No hats, headgear, or sunglasses inside the building. <coughs> Shirts must have a strap on each shoulder of at least a two-finger width and must not expose undergarments, cleavage, or the midriff area in both the front and back at all times. Shorts and skirts must be no longer than six inches from the top of the knee. Loose-fitting athletic wear is permitted. See-through clothing on top or bottom or clothing with cutout sides or backs should not be worn. Pants cannot sag below the waist. No visible undergarments. Clothing or dress, 
tattoos or adornments may not display explicit language or graffiti relating to, but not limited to, the following. Alcohol, tobacco, drugs, weapons, sex, gangs, or gang affiliation. Uniforms must comply with dress code if worn at school during the day. Wireless communication devices. Electronic devices or cell phones must be turned off during periods of instructional time unless the teacher directs students to use them. Students may use their devices before school, after school, between classes, and during lunch, but never in a classroom without teacher permission. If an administrator asks for a cell phone or electronic device and the student refuses, he or she will be sent home. Confiscated phones that are turned into the office must be picked up by parent after school. Students are responsible for their electronic devices if you bring them to school. Have them on you at all times or locked in a locker. Harassment. The board specifically prohibits bullying and harassment under any circumstances. Bullying or harassment is defined as any offensive, verbal or nonverbal, or physical conduct that is sufficiently severe, persistent or pervasive, and interferes with a student's ability to participate or benefit from an educational program or activity. Prohibited conduct may include, but is not limited to, abusive jokes, insults, slurs, name-calling, threats, bullying, intimidation, or cyberbullying, using the internet, email, or text messaging to bully. What's up, Wakefield? My name is Megan Blouse, and I'm your senior class president. I hope you're ready for a great year. Sexual harassment. Unwelcome sexual advances, requests for sexual favors, and other verbal or physical conduct of a sexual nature constitutes sexual harassment. Disruption of school. Threat or false threat. Written, verbal, sign, or act. School disturbance, property damage, aiding and abetting, and acts of terror. Gang and gang-related activities. WCPSS does not support or condone gang membership or gang activity. Wearing, possessing, using, distributing, displaying, or selling any clothing, jewelry, or emblems affiliated with gangs, possession of literature that shows affiliation with a gang, or is evidence of membership in a gang, or that promotes gang affiliation is prohibited. Fighting and physical aggression or assault. No student shall choke, hit, slap, shove, scratch, bite, block the passage of, or throw objects at another person in an aggressive or confrontational manner. Hey Wakefield, I'm Kyle Lim. I'm your senior class vice president. I'm excited for this year and I hope you are too. Fighting and physical aggression or assault continue. Taking any action or making comments or writing messages that might reasonably be expected to result in a fight or physical aggression. Assault on a student, school employee, or other adult. No student shall cause, attempt to cause, or intentionally behave in such a manner that could reasonably cause serious physical injury to any student. Any student who assaults another student, school employee, or other adult may be recommended for long-term suspension. The difference between self-defense and fighting. Self-defense, any physical contact taken by the student so they could get away from the altercation. Example, pushing the student away. Fighting. Remaining in the altercation and engaging in physical contact. Examples include punching, headlocks, and tackling. Hey Wakefield, I'm your senior class communications director and my name is Justin Fouts and I'm ready for a good year. Weapons and dangerous instruments. No student, pre-kindergarten through 12th grade, shall possess, handle, or transmit any weapon, facsimile of a weapon, or other object that can be reasonably considered or used as a weapon or dangerous instrument. Narcotics, alcoholic beverages, and controlled substances. No student shall possess, use, distribute, sell, possess with intent to distribute or sell, or conspire or attempt to distribute or sell, or be under the influence of any narcotic drug, steroid, alcoholic beverage, controlled substance, chemical or drug paraphernalia. See the Wake County Schools Policy Manual for more details. Trespassing. No student shall be on the campus of any school except for the one that they are assigned to during the school day without knowledge and consent of officials of that school. By 2.30 p.m., students must either be with a Wakefield High School staff member, teacher, advisor, or coach, or in the media center. Otherwise, they will be considered trespassing. 
Hello, Wakefield. My name is Evansville, and I am your junior class president. Let's have a great year, Wakefield. Integrity. Any student who engages in or attempts to engage in cheating, plagiarism, falsification, violation of software copyright laws, or violation of computer access shall be subject to disciplinary actions. Cheating falls under the school board policy addressing integrity. Cheating is defined as the giving or receiving of unauthorized classwork or homework, copying work and turning it in as one's own, or using unauthorized aids on tests and quizzes. Cheating continued. Wakefield High School Honor Code. The students of Wakefield High School are committed to being honest and responsible in the completion of academic materials and interactions with the school administrators and community. Cheating, stealing, plagiarism, and lying are considered violations of the Honor Code. Through a joint fulfillment of this code, students and faculty will achieve their fullest potential in academic excellence and character. Consequences, consequences for incidents of cheating. First incident of cheating, major, three days alternative learning center. Second incident of cheating, major, one day out of school suspension. Third incident in cheating, major, three days OSS. Fourth incident cheating major, five days OSS. Fifth incident cheating major, recommendation for long-term out-of-school suspension. First incident minor cheating, Saturday detention. Second incident minor cheating, one day in school suspension. Third incident cheating minor, three days alternative learning center. Fourth incident, cheating, minor, one day out of school suspension, and fifth incident, cheating, minor, three days out of school suspension. Hi, I'm Cameron Blouse, your junior class vice president, and I can't wait to see you this year. <laughs> Start on time, student expectations. Report to class on time. If you are tardy, immediately report to the faculty member located in your hallway. Provide accurate information to the faculty member. Receive your sweeper pass. Return promptly to your class with your sweeper pass. Submit pass to your classroom teacher. If you are more than 10 minutes late, report to the main office. Wakefield High School policy updates. Disciplinary consequences. For your first and second tardy, there will be a warning assigned by a teacher. For your third through fifth tardy, lunch detention will be assigned by an administrator. For your sixth through eighth tardy, Saturday detention will be assigned by an administrator. For your 9th through 11th tardy, in-school suspension will be assigned for one day. For your 12th tardy, in-school suspension two days and a parent meeting with an administrator. Note, after 12 tardies, the student will receive an alternative learning center and or out-of-school suspension. I'm Bailey Rice. I'm your junior class secretary. Let's go Wolverines! Checking in and checking out. All students entering school after 7.45 a.m must check into the attendance office. All students leaving school before the end of the school day must check out of the attendance office. Juniors and seniors with off-campus lunch privileges must come back to the school to check out. Failure to follow these procedures will result in disciplinary consequences. Wakefield High School policy updates. Disciplinary consequences. Attendance and skipping. For the first and second instant of skipping, you will receive lunch detention. For the third incident of skipping, you will receive Saturday detention. For the fourth incident of skipping, you will receive in-school suspension. For the fifth incident of skipping, you will receive ALC. For the sixth incident of skipping, you will receive out-of-school suspension. Leaving school without permission is skipping. Unexcused absences are skipping. Students must provide a note from a parent or guardian within two days of an absence to change the status. Without a note, students will receive disciplinary consequences. Following an absence, work can be completed for full credit. Hi, my name is Gloria Hayward and I'm your junior class communications director. 
Follow us on Twitter at WHS17SGA. And remember, it's all about the W. Student expectations, discipline. Freshman arrival. Freshmen who arrive on main campus in the morning should remain on the bus until they, until they are dropped off at Wakefield Moor. The last shuttle bus going to the ninth grade center leaves main campus at 7 a.m. If you are off campus during lunch without a pass, that is considered skipping. Consequences will be given as noted on the previous chart. Successive acts of skipping will increase disciplinary consequences. Smart lunch. What can I do? Tutorials, intramurals, media center, counseling, club meetings, other activities as advertised. Hello, my name is Cecilia Botin, and I'm your senior class secretary. It's all about the W. Where can I go during Smart Lunch? You can go to cafeteria, no sitting on path walls, seated in line or on your way. You can, you can go to the local base on the designated floor only, which is the second and third floors only. You can go outside by the art room or near student services. Juniors and seniors only may go off campus with a proper lunch pass. However, you can't go or sit on floors that are closed unless going to a tutorial. Parking lot, you can't go to the parking lot unless leaving campus. Tennis courts, basketball court, fields and stadium. No hanging out in stairwells, commons area or hallways. Always keep it moving. No outside food is allowed in the building. No outside food may be brought inside the building during lunch. If you bring food back to campus, you must eat it before you enter the building. Juniors and seniors who have a lunch pass may go off campus for lunch. Sophomores may not go off campus for lunch. They are not able to receive lunch passes. Hi, my name is Louisa Bolton, and I am your sophomore class secretary. Go Wakefield. Required Directed Tutorials. If you have a grade that is a D or below, you will be required to attend Directed Tutorials as assigned by the teacher during lunch. Failure to attend will result in disciplinary consequences. What is in school suspension? ISS will be used for a student's immediate removal from class. Teachers may call for administrators to escort students from class to the ISS room. Students should go to ISS with work in hand. Administrators may assign multiple class periods of ISS as well as a full day in response to a discipline referral. What is ALC? ALC is an intervention option for students who repeatedly violate level one and level two offenses as outlined in the Student Code of Conduct. ALC supports staff and students by using various interventions that focus on the reduction of undesirable and problematic behaviors. ALC goals include the following. Increase interventions to students who are in violation of level one and level two offenses. Support the teaching and learning process. Decrease suspension rates. Increase high school graduation rates. What is Saturday detention? Saturday detention is held on main campus only from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Students are expected to be on time, bring schoolwork, and work silently during the detention time. Students who are late or are not, not following the rules will be asked to leave. They will not receive credit for serving time in detention. See the calendar on the inside cover of the student agenda for all Saturday detention dates. Misconduct on a school bus. School transportation service is a privilege, not a right. Violation of any rule of the Code of Student Conduct while on the school bus is specifically prohibited and may result in temporary or permanent suspension from school transportation services and or from school. Specific violations include delaying the bus schedule, getting off at an unauthorized stop, inappropriate behavior at a bus stop, distracting the driver's attention with inappropriate behavior, and failing to observe safety rules. The student's role. Get to know your administrator. Learn about school policies and know the code of student conduct. Apply the policies, stay in school, and be responsible. All right, Wakefield, thanks for listening to the discipline video, and let's make sure we follow all the rules this year and have a great year. Now we know you'll all give a warm welcome to our new principal, Mr. Bazell, and show him the Wakefield way. And remember, it's all about the W.